So we got uh, 2016 Dodge Ram here, and when you turn the turn signal on right, the, uh, the, the flasher on the instrument cluster blinks fast. So normally with uh, regular bulbs, you would have a bulb out. In this case, it's got LED bulbs in the back. So you can see here, we've got um, the fault code here, B1646-15. Rear right turn lamp, control circuit, short to battery are open. So right now I just have the tail lights on. This is no brake light or turn signal. So these LEDs are all powered at, um, let's say a half of, half of regular voltage for their normal brightness. So we can see that they're all working. And I'm just gonna go put the brake pedal on to show you guys which ones are out. So you can see that three of those are out right now. And the computer um, will, uh, can determine, um, is it a resistance check that it does, do you think? For those LEDs? Probably. Oh, no, it's a voltage drop. Okay, so, yeah, it'll do a voltage drop across uh, the lamp and determine that uh, there's bulbs that aren't functioning, or LEDs in this case. Um, to fix that, um, this I'll take this lamp out. This lamp is actually a, a sealed unit. So in order to get to the circuit board that's inside that houses those LEDs, um, you'd have to basically put this lamp in an oven or I don't know if there's a, maybe a heat gun might do it and basically undo the, the glue or the bond that holds the outer lens shell to the inner. And inside there'll be a circuit board I would suspect that there may be some corrosion on the circuit board, or maybe- uh, Just burn out LEDs. Yeah. Um, something's gone wrong. So you basically have to take it apart. Um, for, the, for the cost of it, you might as well just go get something from the wrecking yard, throw it in. Um, a new one from Chrysler would probably run you like 500 Canadian. Um, or you can replace it with halogen one. Yeah, I want, I'm going to grab a one that's just regular halogen light bulbs and see if it plug fits. it in. I'm going to check the wiring diagram first and plug it in and see if it works. And might end up doing a conversion. I don't know. But All right. So we got um, your basic lamp here. This one's made by uh, Magneti Morelli, and it's about seventy-eight dollars Canadian plus tax. Uh, much cheaper than the $500 one. So I was just looking, I have a connector here that plugs in. Um, there is supposed to be a third wire in there. I stole it for another job. And then the light bulb that goes in the bottom, I believe that's your reverse lamp, two wire, simple. Um, compared to the LED setup for the premium lighting system, there's, there's one thing that would stop you from making this work. The light the light itself would work, but you would still get a message on the dash that would say that you have a turn signal out. And that's this uh, lighting fault sense wire. Now, if you get technical, you, you could make it work with a, a resistor, some, something um, more for an advanced person in electrical, but I believe you can make it work. So in this case, it's a sort of a difficult thing, but if you knew what you were doing, you could save yourself some money and do it. Um, I'd say your best option for this is probably go to the wrecking yard and pick one up or Amazon, eBay. Um, or if you really want the new one, you cough out the money for a new one.